Hey everyone, it's Fentoni. HBO's released 20 new Game of Thrones Season 8 character photos and one of them features a returning character and I must say HBO always delivers on these character posters. They are beautiful. They've also released new Twitter emojis of all the characters' names. So obviously it's the 20 main characters in Season 8. There are characters that don't get their own but these are the big 20. Jon Snow, Aegon Targaryen in his rightful place on the Iron Throne. This actually looks very similar to the Season 1 Ned Stark poster on the Iron Throne. There's probably a reason behind that, you know, the fact that Jon's finding out about his parentage, but deep down he'll always be Jon Snow, he'll always be Ned Stark's son. Daenerys Targaryen in her new Season 8 outfit that was revealed in some photos recently. I don't know if Daenerys will ever sit on the Iron Throne, it's the sole reason she came to Westeros, but at the moment she's concerned of the Night King. Cersei Lannister in her new outfit, we have seen this before, she's definitely the best dressed alongside Danny and Sansa. Cersei's going to be extremely dangerous in the final season, the Iron Throne is all she has alongside her baby and it's likely that unborn child will probably die, she'll either miscarry or there'll be something wrong in the birth. So Cersei will do anything to keep the Iron Throne. Arya's still in her season 7 outfit, she still has that Valyrian steel dagger, there's lots of theories that that dagger is going to be extremely important. A lot of people think that Bran gave it to Arya for a reason and that reason was more than just Littlefinger. Speaking of Bran, he's the free eyed raven on the Iron Throne. Right now Bran's main purpose is to reveal to Jon Snow about his parentage but I think Bran's purpose has a lot more to it than that. I think he's going to play a big part in defeating the Night King. Now Sansa's got a new outfit, Entertainment Weekly revealed this, they said that Sansa's going to wear armour in season 8, you know it's not heavy armour, it's more like a leather light armour, and this is it. She's not a warrior but I think Brienne must have taught her the basics, just so she can defend herself with a dragon glass dagger. Jaime Lannister and his clothes from the season 7 finale when he finally left Cersei, we know he gets armour at some point in the season, probably up at Winterfell. Tyrion's got a new outfit, it's the same one as he wore in the photos. Right now he's still Hand of the Queen and a lot of people are uncertain of Tyrion's fate, whether he lives or dies, what happens to him. A lot of people think that he might become the Lord Protector and some sort of guardian to John and Danny's baby, but there's others who think he might die. Sandor Clegane the Hound, one word, Clegane Bolt. Next up is Brienne of Torf, she still is a Lannister sword oath keeper. She made an oath to Catelyn Stark to find the Stark girls, but now I think she'll have to protect them. Samuel Tarly, I think he definitely has to make it and write down everyone's stories inside his book, A Song of Ice and Fire. Miss Sandy, I'm not actually sure about her, I think there's a big possibility she could die. And then you've got Grey Worm, I think he's got an even bigger chance of dying. Davos, who's basically Jon's right hand man, he was there for Jon when Jon came back from the dead, I think he'll be there to support Jon when Jon learns the truth about his parentage. Euron Greyjoy, he's definitely going to betray Cersei, she sent him to get the Golden Company, but you can't trust him. He might even sit on the Iron Throne for a bit, I know a lot of people don't like his character in the show. Theon Greyjoy, all about his redemption, he's obviously going to try and save his sister, but I think he'll also repay the Starks. Jon told Theon that he forgives him for what he can forgive, but Theon still has to make it up to Bran. But obviously Bran's a free-eyed raven, so it's going to be complicated. Jorah Mormon, yeah, I think he might die, probably giving his life for Daenerys. Now Varys. Varys was always a big player in the Game of Thrones. You never really knew what side he was on, and then it was revealed he's actually a Targaryen sympathiser. But then he tells Daenerys he's not following her blindly. He's kind of a sidekick now, you know, he doesn't really do much. His character's kind of been watered down a bit. But I hope there's big things coming for Varys. I hope they expand on the sorcerer storyline from earlier, when Varys was taken as a little boy and his parts were cut, put into the flame and then blue fire appeared and a voice spoke to him. And then speaking of this, Melisandre, the returning character from season 7. She headed off to Volantis but now she's back. She told Varys that both her and him have to die in Westeros. A lot of people think that she might use Varys' blood, which might be King's blood in some sort of ritual, to fight the Night King. Melisandre versus the Night King, one and one. And then speaking of the Night King, the Night King on the Iron Throne. I have a lot of uses for this photo, I'm going to make it the thumbnail. So all these characters are sitting on the Iron Throne, HBO are using the hashtag for the throne, no that's their main hashtag for the season. Season 7 was winter is here, but they kind of got them the wrong way around if you think about it. You know in season 7 Daenerys was all about the Iron Throne along with Cersei, but now it's winter, the Night King. They kind of got them wrong, they probably should have used for the throne for season 7 and winter is here for season 8, but it's probably because the Iron Throne is such an iconic element from the show. So in the comments below I want to know what you think, who's going to sit on the Iron Throne? Will there even be one? If there will be an Iron Throne after the War for the Dawn, it's probably going to be sat on by one of these 20 characters. And I think you can rule some characters out. You know, some of them are never going to rule. Some of them are never going to sit on the Iron Throne. The big favourites are John, Danny, Sansa, Tyrion. But there might actually be someone who's not here. You know, it might be John and Danny's baby. But currently, Cersei has the throne, but it's 99% chance she dies. Like I said, I think Euron Greyjoy might claim the throne for a bit. 
As for John and Danny, Danny's came to Westeros for the throne, but at the moment she's focused on the Night King, she might never actually sit on the Iron Throne. And as for John, Bran did say that he's the rightful heir to the Iron Throne, but this is Jon Snow, he won't want the Iron Throne, but I don't think we should rule him out, he might take the Iron Throne if there's no other choice. But honestly, the Iron Throne doesn't matter, not as an object, it doesn't really matter who sits on it. As a symbol, the Iron Throne has been very tainted, there's been so many tyrants and so many bad rulers over the years, I think it's time for a change, and destroying the Iron Throne will be a good start. So we're still waiting on that trailer, it's definitely coming soon. Now these character posters are out, it has to be coming next. We're probably only going to get one big trailer, literally we're only a month and a half away. It's probably going to come out sometime in March, so keep an eye out for it and make sure you subscribe to get my video. Anyways guys, remember to leave your thoughts in the comments below and then subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.